Welcome to The Sims 4, a game all about making a family and doing your best to stop them from setting themselves on fire or accidentally drowning in dubiously designed swimming pools. Today I attempt a challenge I haven't seen anyone else pull off yet, probably because it's a terrible idea. The goal today is simple, we're only allowed to have our sim on one tile and we have to somehow live a life whilst paying for bills, eating food and dodging the grim reaper. If everything works out perfectly our character should die of old age. And to make this challenge extra difficult, I'm also going to be starting with absolutely no money whatsoever. This means I'm going to have to harness all of my powers as a professional video game exploiter to somehow get our sim to survive. So let's begin. Our hero today ladies and gentlemen is going to be none other than the legendary Chad Chaddington. We're going to be starting off as a quick learner as that way we can evolve our skills and adapt on the fly, but other than that this man is a pure Chad. He's active, he's outgoing, and he's a dance machine baby. He's gonna be perfect. Let's see if we can get him to survive. Chad of the Chaddington Dynasty begins. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are in the game with the legendary Chad Chaddington and uh, he looks really happy. However, of course, um, he shouldn't be because the man is inside a box in a lot by himself and he has no money whatsoever. He's just gonna go and browse the web. Good for you, Chad. Good for you. With this, he's acquired the gaming skill. Now, we somehow need to stay alive as long as possible. So far, we are just about one hour into Chad's survival but as long as we keep on top of his needs, he should be able to live for a little while. His bladder is going down, but his fun is going up, because the man is just quite simply playing a bunch of video games and browsing the web. My goodness, it's the average Redditor. Look at him go, he's having a great time. Now, one problem we do have is that we have uh, no money, and this is a problem, because we have to pay bills, around about $360 worth of them, and uh, that's a problem because we don't make any money at the moment. Now, the normal way to make money in the game is to actually get a job but there's one problem we can't get a job because we can't leave this square I mean how are we meant to actually go out to work if we can't leave the tiny cube that we live in the cube is just large enough to shelter us from the elements it provides us with warmth and protection but it does little else beyond confine us to potentially a very slow and painful death we can't really actually talk to anyone except maybe we can shout outside of our box and meet people and yes here we go I should really get going now but thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. There we go. Chad is somehow able to shout out of his box at people. There you go. Call them over. Bring them closer here. Yes, here we go. Friends. Friends, Chad. Friends. More choices. Be friendly. Friendly introduction. Now, we are approaching problem number one. We're heading into the evening of our first day and Chad uh, needs the toilet. Uh, he is also starting to get rather hungry. Now, this is a problem because there's no way for us to actually fit a toilet in here. Even if we did have money, we can't play a toilet. There just fundamentally is no space. Even the most basic toilets take up over one tile and so we just quite simply can't fit them into our square because we of course have to stand on the square too. One thing that Chad has going for him is the fact that he's actually happy. That's right his fun's maxed out because the dude is just playing non-stop video games. In fact his video game skill is actually looking pretty decent about 11% complete. You know what Chad I'm just gonna try and have you play as many games as possible and maybe somehow there'll be a way for you to I don't know profit from from it. That's right, maybe you can become the greatest Clash of Clans player the world has ever seen. I know you're really desperate for the toilet, but come on, you need to game. Now is the time. Gaming could be the only thing that keeps you alive, Chad. So we're just gonna queue it up as much as possible. You will game, you will game, and then you will game some more. Perfect, lovely. And with this, his skills are improving. Yes, he's up to 21% on video gaming. Yes, game away, my boy. Game, 25% complete. Lovely. Now, Chad does want to uh, actually do some activity. He needs to exercise exercise, but Chad, we can't really have you exercise. Also, I'm going to need you to downgrade to just being naked because, I mean, come on, Chad. We don't really have the money for clothes. I don't know where you got them from. You don't have any relationships with other sims, which I suppose is a problem for a character that is outgoing and wants friends, but hey, you'll just play video games by yourself on your phone. Come on, it's Super Auto Pets. Northern Line put out a new video. You want to watch it? Oh, no, and now you're just weeing all over the floor. Uh, Chad, this is kind of a problem because look you're very embarrassed that that's not good you are now completely and utterly filthy 
Uh, and it's only going to get worse because you're trapped inside of a cube with yourself and your bodily leavings. And I'm afraid there's actually nothing I can do. Maybe I can just make you go jogging. Okay, no, you can't jog on the spot. I like how really sad and upset he sounds whenever he's forced to actually play a video game. This poor guy. Bless him, he does not want to play video games, but he has no other choice. Chad, you're gonna starve to death in about two days. I need you to somehow just play video games and maybe a solution will present itself. Oh, bless him, he's really upset now. Oh, this poor guy. He does not want to play video games. Come on, Chad. What else are you meant to do with yourself? Look, just because you're starving, you're running out of energy, you stink worse than literally anything on the universe, doesn't mean you can't force yourself to play a game. Oh my god. <laughs> he has to force himself to play. <laughs> Oh, this poor man. This poor man. Hey, you had a good gaming session, okay? That's got you focused. You are very lonely, so that will make you depressed and sad, but all of these negative traits are being overruled by the crippling embarrassment of just, you know, weeing yourself. But hey, it's fine. I will force you to play video games. Play games, Chad. Play games. This could be the only way for you to survive. I don't care that you're very uncomfortable and filthy. That's not my fault. Just because I put you in the cube of suffering doesn't mean you have to take it out on me, Chad. Right now, we are actually approaching video game skill level 2, which is fantastic. We're just gonna force ourselves to play as many games as possible. We're almost there, almost at level 2. 99% complete, here we go. There we go, some gaming. We can now discuss game strategy with other sims. Okay, so Chad has no energy, he is starving, and he really craves for social contact. Well, luckily for us, we can just quite simply have him check the social media timeline so that he gets a sense of vicarious friendship by snooping on random people's Twitter accounts. There we go. Chad, you are living the greatest existence man has ever seen. Now, Chad is kind of locked in this terrifying existence of just browsing the web over and over again. He has no energy, and he has no hygiene, and he definitely has no food. But the interesting thing is, because he is only trapped onto one tile, he physically can't pass out due to lack of energy. That's right, as you can see, he is exhausted. He is critically low energy from chronic sleep deprivation, and he will pass out in zero minutes time. The issue is, he physically can't pass out. The game just won't let him. He is living an existence of absolute suffering, but he is living. And that in itself is a success. We might just make it pass day two. It's entirely possible. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like Chad's fate is sealed. He is ravenously hungry, and in 18 hours, he will die if he doesn't get food. The issue is, we can't get him food. We can't order him food, and even if we were to, say, knock down one of these walls and place food right on top of him, we don't have the money to do so. Without a way to make money, Chad simply can't survive. I think it's possible our failed experiment and child here just wasn't quite cut out for this world, and we're going to need to start again with a new, stronger character. Character. Well, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it's not looking good for Chad Chaddington. I just discovered that I can take pictures and sell those pictures for money. They sell for two simoleons each. And sadly, it's a bit of a late discovery because in five minutes' time, we are going to starve to death. I don't know how Chad Chaddington can die, but um, he's decided to put on some clothes and... Um Goodbye, Chad Chaddington. Oh, he touched the floor. That's cheating. He escaped the cube. Kill him, death. It is only fair he broke out of the mortal realm. Well, let's give this another crack with a superior character. So, attempt one was a disaster. We ran into a lot of problems. With no money, no clothes, and no way of actually getting out of our box, we just quite simply died of starvation. So for our second attempt, we need to somehow conquer all of those problems. In order to beat this challenge, we need to get food, make money, wash ourselves, not become a depressed cabbage, and if possible, I want to improve ourselves. Why limit ourselves to just surviving, when we could be thriving and working towards a path of eudaimonia, as outlined by the legendary Aaron Aristotle. After all, it was he who said, thy hustler's got a hustle, and that's what we're going to do today. Meet our hero who's going to conquer these challenges, Drew P. Schlong. Now, Drew here is, of course, a quick learner, which is very important so we can adapt on the fly. Secondly, he's a loner. He doesn't care about a lack of socialization. He's also a slob, so won't be upset when he inevitably soils himself. And he's gloomy, which means generally just being sad and upset will actually improve his creativity, and we're going to actually use his creativity in 
order to survive today. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, let's dive into this challenge. It's the Schlong household, and oh my goodness, this is the greatest picture I've ever seen. Warning, a family name, sim name, or description contains a disallowed word. Seriously, Schlong is a disallowed word in the Sims universe? Jeez, Sims, what kind of censorship is this? Okay, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The lovely Drew is here, and he is a very happy individual. He's ready to start his brand new life in the cube. Yep, that's right. He's in his little box in the house with no money whatsoever. But we need to start conquering some of our limitations. Limitation number one, no money is a problem. We need a way of making money. But how do we make money from nothing? Now, normally, if I were to exploit the game, I'd just simply use charisma to get really buddy with a very rich person and then steal all of their belongings. We can't do this whilst we're trapped in a box. So instead, I need to use the one advantage we've been given, a mobile phone. And using this mobile phone, we can take a picture. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And this will actually give us some skills. So we're going to take some selfies. I know that's right. We're going to let some time pass and Drew, get out your selfie stick because it's time to take some glorious pictures. Now, of course, our selfies aren't exactly the greatest thing you've ever seen. What with the fact that effectively the only thing we can take a picture of is the brick wall that surrounds us. But that's fine. We can just simply take a picture of the brick wall from various different angles. And that's going to give us five lovely pictures. Great selfies there, Drew. Now, those pictures are going to go into our inventory. And here they are, ladies and gentlemen. Five pictures worth 11 simoleons each. That's right, because they're of normal quality. Well, bam, we're going to sell them. And that's 43 simoleons. It might not seem like much, ladies and gentlemen. But not only is that 15% of our photography ah. skill on the way to success, this is a glorious start. Oh. So immediately, we're going to take more selfies. Bam, selfies taken, glorious success, that's more images. These ones aren't quite worth as much, they're, they're just simply 21 simoleons each, but that's okay, we're up to 64 simoleons. Now, what's the first item we're looking for? The first thing we're looking for, ladies and gentlemen, today is a doorway, because we need to have some kind of arch so that we can somehow get food into our house without actually leaving the tile. So for that, we need this singular arch, which we can actually afford, it is just $50, so well, bam, the arch is in. Next up, we're going to need to find way of getting food. And for that, I think we're going to need to buy ourselves a refrigerator. But the cheapest one is 375 simoleons. So that means in the meantime, we're going to need to start taking as many pictures as possible. Now, we don't just have to take pictures of ourselves. We can take pictures of our surroundings. And now that we've managed to crack open a wall, look, we can really take pictures of our surroundings. Look at all of this rubbish on the floor. Here's someone's house. That's a bit of graffiti. Lovely, five more images. We can sell all of those for 22 simoleons. Oh yes, and now we can even take a selfie. Oh yes, now this, this is what I call a selfie. Drew, you are looking amazing. Work it, Drew. It's whack on a filter that really makes me fear for my life. Bit of soft lighting, bit of smooth lighting. There we go. Drew, you are looking fantastic. How much do these nude pictures sell for? 33 simoleons, yes. Who knew selling pictures of a topless man is all you need to make a little bit of money? We're up to $69. Right, we're gonna bash out as many selfies as we can. These ones aren't even going to be quite as special as the last. Oh my goodness, though, they are actually quite terrifying. Right, five of those. Five images that will make you fear for your life. Bam, 21 simoleons. And we're just going to have to repeat this over and over again until we solve the food predicament. Oh, bam, another 22 simoleons. We're up to 112 simoleons. How are our skills doing? Oh my goodness, we're almost about to level up our photography skill. Yes, this is fantastic. The higher our photography skill goes as well, the more money our lovely pictures should start actually making us. Oh yes, we've got ourselves some vintage images. Oh yes. Droopy schlong, what a man. Anyway, that has actually upgraded his photography skill. He is now improved. Images are more likely to be of higher quality. Would you look at this? We've got some normal images here. A few of these are worth actually seven simoleons. So we'll take some of those. We can even actually put these images up. It's a bit psychotic, but we can just hang images of ourselves to the outside of our house. But it's a bit of a waste because I want to sell as much as possible. But hey, we can just remind the outside world of who lives inside of the box. <laughs> Right, now stop playing video games. I know you love video games, but you have one job, Drew, and that is to simply take as many pictures as possible. Well, 
Fantastic, I think I've actually just leveled up my photography skill again. And we've also managed to make 381 simoleons. But yes, we're up to photography level three now, which means our images are likely to be even more superior, meaning we can sell them for even more money. Anyway, it's time for us to actually buy ourselves a medium of gaining food, which in our case is an incredibly cheap fridge. We're gonna go for a nice blue fridge, ladies and gentlemen. And what we can now do is add in the fridge wall, ladies and gentlemen. This cost us a decent amount of money, but here it is, it's our fridge. This now allows us to gain food. That's right, we have a source of food. This is really, really important for us because now we will no longer starve to death, provided we have money and the ability to actually eat food. But actually, most food is free. For example, we can have some lovely applesauce, ladies and gentlemen. Mmm, tasty, tasty applesauce. And when we finish with the applesauce, of course, yes, we will just deposit on the ground outside of our house, but that isn't a negative thing. For the applesauce bowl, ladies and gentlemen, whilst it is ugly, does not affect us, for we are a slob. And now that we're extra happy, it's time for us to take a fridge selfie. Oh yes, look at this. This is the face of a man who's just demolished a snack from the fridge. Immaculate, beautiful pictures. And that's 29 simoleons. So what's the next thing we should logically save up for? Well, if cameras and photography are the ways we're actually going to be making most of our money, then that means we need to get ourselves a better camera. Now, we can get ourselves the barely better digital camera, but this bad boy isn't actually any good. It's no better than a standard smartphone, so we're not going to waste any money on it. Then there's the appreciably average digital camera. It's better than the average smartphone, but we're going to want even better than that. We're aiming for the crystal clear digital camera. This bad boy can hold 10 pictures at a time, meaning we can double the amount of images we sell each time we take pictures, and each image is going to be even better than the last. So we have to save up and somehow generate 2,000, which means it's time to take some selfies. Five selfies for 35, lovely. Oh, we are looking happy, we are looking smiley, and that's 34 simoleons. Right, I've got to repeat this for probably the entire rest of the day, but uh, Drew is a absolute photogenic machine, ladies and gentlemen. So these selfies, they're glorious. Let's show them to the world and make some money. Okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have actually made a copious amount of money, 2,953, and also our photography skill is now max level. This is insane because our money-making potential is now kind of ridiculous. If we take a selfie now, instead of five selfies being worth maybe 30 simoleons, five selfies nowadays, ladies and gentlemen, can be worth anywhere from 60 simoleons to 120. This is downright ridiculous, and it allows us to make money a lot faster than we logically should. So it's time for us to actually treat ourselves to the glorious money-making potential that is a crystal clear digital camera, which we can just whack on down on the floor and then just drag into our inventory, lovely. And now we can take some photos. Now these photos all have outstanding quality, even though we literally just took a picture of a wall and they'll sell for 112 each. This is now our money making machine online and it's time for us to open our box up to the wider world. And by that I mean we're just going to have some archways open up the house. So now let us take some glorious pictures of the wider landscape around us. Lovely stuff. Look at these. Outstanding high quality images worth 120 simoleons. Glorious. Our money making potential is now maxed out. Okay, welcome back back ladies and gentlemen with the glorious Drew P. He is um not exactly very happy at the moment. He has no energy but there's no space for him to fall asleep on the ground. But the largest problem is that the dude has no hygiene. So he is starting to have some problems with that and we need to fix that. But how do we fix the man's hygiene when he can't leave this square? Well the biggest problem we run into is the fact that this man can't exactly stand inside a shower and we cannot put a shower on top of him. Which means we need to get creative with how this man is actually washing and tidying himself. So we're gonna make ourselves a lovely sink here, place it down, and then we can actually have Drew bend over out of his square and brush his teeth. There we go. And by brushing his teeth, this man is actually going to improve his hygiene rating. There we go, by just brushing his teeth and washing his hands. Look at him go. Look at that hygiene climb, baby. Those stink smells are soon gonna go away. But of course, sinks don't come cheap. They come with costs of water usage. And well, we're using a lot of water because we're very inefficiently cleaning ourselves by scrubbing our body with just a toothbrush. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've almost maxed out our hygiene. Fantastic. But of 
course, these bad boys are expensive, and I actually want to do something very special. And that is to start making passive income, ladies and gentlemen. Passive income that would require us to produce our own electricity and water so that we're not only self-sufficient in our tiny square, but so that we can start selling it back to the main grid for profit. So how do we do that? Well, the easiest way to do it is with our lovely photography. Our photography is so good, every picture we take is outstanding. It can generally be sold for at least 23 simoleons. Sometimes as high as 60 simoleons, which is very exciting. The only issue is the process of clicking on the camera to take a picture, then pressing C four times actually takes a while. And you know, it's going to eventually hurt my fingers. So instead of doing it myself, I've decided to set up a macro script to do the entire thing for me. So that's exactly what it's now going to do. This entire process you're seeing run on screen now is a macro recorder basically just running over and over again. The fact that I would personally like pictures to be taken. It's perfectly balanced and glorious because every time we do this, we effectively get ourselves 100 simoleons. There is just simply no way of stopping me from printing money out of thin air. It is perfectly, totally, and completely and utterly balanced. Ah, uh, just look at this bad boy go. We're gonna be taking as many pictures as humanly possible. Just gonna leave this bad boy running, then we'll start really raking in the cash. This is how to do true photography. Why take one well-constructed picture when instead you can just simply mash your camera take photo button as much as possible? Now, I think this could potentially be some of the fastest money making per minute in-game actually possible, because there is only one minute of in-game time between each time I take a picture, meaning every minute we're making around about 100 simoleons, which means in total we're making 6,000 simoleons an hour, which is quite a decent quantity indeed, which could potentially translate to 140,000 simoleons every single day. This is a decent quantity of money. Right, it's given up actually keeping track of how many pictures I've taken, it's just whacked plus 99 on the amount of pictures we have, which is completely fine. Who knows how many it will actually end up being. Okay, well. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, I've let this bad boy run for a decent while and I now have 293 pictures saved up right here and I'm going to sell all of them for 5,682 simoleons. Don't mind if I do. Okay, the game is breaking down ever so slightly, does not know how to, does not know how to process this at all. There we go, right, sell those items, yes, I would like to sell this item. And there we go, 5,000 simoleons, no problem. But hey, technically I've now met Bess, which means I can have a chat with them over the phone and this intern is going to fix my social stat. Lovely. Oh, we're solving all of our problems today. Money is solved. Hygiene has been solved by just simply brushing our teeth. Food is solved by just having a fridge next to the square. And now we're about to start generating crazy money as we're going to build ourselves some Lab Pro X2 Dew Collectors, ladies and gentlemen. These bad boys harvest moisture. And you'll notice if we take a look at our bills information, we use one unit of water per day, which isn't the best, but that's fine. We're going to start off setting it by building these lovely water collectors. Now, they do take up a decent bit of space, but it's okay. We can just hammer these bad boys out, slam them on down, and we're bam, there we go. That's four water collectors, ladies and gentlemen. These bad boys, quite good indeed. Now, if we take a look at our bill information, we have a rate of change of plus 10 water per day. This is very, very nice indeed. Now, we're solving our food problems very, very well. I'll just have to dump all of the uh, very messy, stinky bowls out into the middle of nowhere so that we, you know, don't have to worry about them. They're someone else's problem. That's the next person's issue to deal with. Worst case scenario, we can just buy a sink, put it over here, and then hire a maid to come over and help. Hey, welcome back to the game. A decent amount of time has passed, and as you can see, I've invested in these lovely water collection devices. Now, there are quite a large amount of them, and their sheer production is glorious. For example, as you can see in our bills information, we produce around about 120 water per day. This is very, very good indeed. We can currently sell a decent amount of it back to the grid, but most importantly, we can just sell a bulk of it now for some money. So, well, bam, we'll do that. That's 44 some we've just gained. We're going to be making a very nice large amount of simoleons each week just off of the back of all of our lovely water generators. And even though our existence isn't very good and it basically involves cleaning myself by brushing my teeth, we are improving ourselves as a human being, largely just by spamming out pictures of our lot over and over again. But at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is simply impossible for us to die. We've got all of our needs fulfilled. We can go to the toilet whenever we like, we can eat whatever we like out of the fridge. For fun, we can just 
play video games on our phone. For socialness, I can just randomly spam text messages to people. For hygiene, I can brush my teeth in the sink. And for sleep, well, um, we've decided we no longer need sleep to function. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen. By making sleep physically impossible, we have conquered time itself. That has doubled the amount of time in the day we can have to take pictures. This is the true Sigma grind set, and it's what separates Drew P. Schlong out from the rest of us. The man can work 24-7, and when he's not grinding and hustling to make money, he's brushing his teeth in a dirty sink to clean up the mess of soiling himself. This man is living the true American dream. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Things are going very well, and I've upgraded the lot's energy production. We now have a lot more solar panels and all of these lovely wind turbines, and you'll also notice a very strange structure. Now, this very strange structure is uh, just a roof. Now, I basically worked out that these wind turbines work fine indoors as well as outdoors, so I can put wind turbines on top of wind turbines. And then what we can do is we can just simply level this up and up and up and up and up and as many stories as we can go, and go down as many stories as we can go to build as many wind turbines as possible, all in a vague effort to generate opiates and copious quantities of money. Now, I have noticed that one issue we are running into is that our local environment is kind of a little bit too messy and disgusting. There is just quite simply way too much random food lying around. Consequently, I need assistance, and so I shall be hiring a one-time maid service. That's right, one person to come around and just made up this world. Now, I've built them a little sink over here so they can hopefully come over here and wash up all of these plates and get rid of them. That should hopefully rectify a few of our problems, including whatever these piles of rubbish are here. I'm fantastic, the maid has arrived, and look at her, she's cleaning up all of my rubbish and filth. Oh, this is wonderful. Isabel is here and she is going to rectify our lovely stinky situation and hopefully clean up all of the filth that we have running around. I'm also going to respec our aspiration into fortune because this way we should actually start gaining some lovely sim life points. So we're bam. We now need to get 10 grand in reserve. That's actually no challenge at all, as we can just quite simply use the overwhelming power of taking pictures over and over again. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Well, bam, it's picture time, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the game is lagging a little bit, so my macro script may be not going to be the most efficient system in the world, but it is entirely possible. Oh my goodness, yep. Okay, the, it is definitely lagging. Yep, just gonna have to do this the good old-fashioned manual way. Yeah, I'm getting a solid at least four Four FPS out of the game now. <laughs> okay, maybe the wind turbines weren't the best idea. Oh my goodness, someone's telling me that I've just inherited a huge amount of wealth. Yes, money, give me now. Oh, I have to get married in seven days to satisfy the hidden conditions. Um, getting married in seven days is going to be a challenge considering I can't actually leave my cube. So I'll just have to invite someone over to hang out. Right, I'll call them over to my stink pile. I don't think they're very, um, they're very excited about all of our setup here, but hey, we can invest in dodgy money making schemes. Oh yeah, let's put in a huge amount. Why not? Yes, I'll dump all of my money into slightly legal money making schemes. Okay, so this person is probably a decent idea for the investment results, but um, but otherwise we can't exactly make friends with them because every time someone comes near Droopy Schlong, they just become uncomfortable. They're just not used to his amazing form. Alright, I'll send her home, but that's fantastic. We've managed to invest some money into some dodgy business practices. Okay, now I've just discovered a brand new goal, ladies and gentlemen. If we can get a huge amount of life points together, potentially we can pick up Never Weary, meaning we would never ever need to sleep again. This, I think could be our ultimate final form. Never needing to sleep would be insanely overpowered and it would completely get rid of our exhausted modifier, meaning we would no longer be permanently uncomfortable. Oh yes, this would be fantastic. Right, we just simply need to get 10 grand in reserves. So let's give it a go. It's going to require a whole bunch of photography. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are doing absolutely fantastic. And you'll notice the home has been um, improved ever so slightly. Uh, yes, we've added in a lot of additional stuff as I somehow need to improve Droopy Schlong's satisfaction so that we can get enough points to never need to sleep again. And the most important way of doing that for us is to go down the Mansion Baron path, a path which is relatively difficult and required me to build 30 windows, hence why I built this nightmare monstrosity of windows. And of course, 
course, artificially inflate the value of my house, which I basically did by printing off NFTs and sticking them on the wall. Look, it's apparently worth 200,000 now. That's right, this single cube with a whole bunch of solar panels is worth 200 grand. That's perfectly balanced. Now, things are going relatively well, although we will be aging up tomorrow. We'll be moving into the adult category, which is fine. It's a good sign. But personally, I'd like to have enough money to actually upgrade ourselves before then. So that's exactly what we're going to spend all of today doing. We're going to be hammering out as many photos as possible. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Drew P. Schlog is feeling flirty and looking fine. Look at this beautiful man. He's doing fantastic. He's about to turn 30. This boy is looking handsome as heck. You know, we should take a selfie. Yes, let us take a glorious selfie. Oh, yeah, look at this man. So handsome, so beautiful, and also so very lag-inducing, this poor game. <laughs> the game can no longer handle what I've done to it, but, oh, it's fantastic. But here we have it, ladies and gentlemen. I think we have proved once and for all that, yes, it is possible to technically have a sim survive on a single tile, provided they're able to become the greatest photographer the world has ever seen. If you can do that, absolutely anything is possible. And you too can survive the necessary quantity of days in order to age into the next era. Not only that, but we've managed to achieve two of our glorious goals. And if we had just another 700 of these amazing points, we'd be able to never need to sleep again. And if that was the case, we would not be uncomfortable. But we could live a perfect existence of just washing ourselves in a sink. Here you go, Drew. You're about to level up into the next age. Ah, fantastic. He's gonna celebrate his birthday with a nice bowl of peas. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our boys all growing up. Okay, the issue is, in order to actually age him up in the game, I need to blow out some candles on a cake. And Well, I'm sorry, Drew, but um, that's just fundamentally not possible. How am I meant to get a cake into the cube with you? So instead, I'm afraid you're just going to have to perpetually be a young adult until the day you die, Drew. It's nothing personal. But there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have proven that this challenge is possible. So why not give it a go yourself? See if you can smash this game to pieces and live in just a single tiny cube. Take tiny home living to the extreme and see if you can have your character thrive more than Droopy Schlong. If you enjoyed today's video then you'd legally have to give it a like and why not hop on down to the comment section and tell me whether you'd be able to manage the existence that Drew has managed for the last few weeks. Anyway a massive thank you to each and every one of our amazing YouTube channel members and patrons you lovely majestic buggers. And hey if you sat there wondering what video you'd like to watch next look no further than this one on screen now hand chosen by myself to be lovely for you. Anyway see each and every one of you in the next one. Have a good day and goodbye for now.